Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Today I have a bit of a quick tip for you, and that is about getting the individual arpeggiator notes from a VST synthesizer directly onto your timeline in the arrangement. If you have ever used VST synthesizers before, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Often these welcome and arpeggiator presets, they sound really cool if you just hold down one note. And sometimes you might want to use that as an actual starting point in your production, but of course you need some more flexibility to alter these notes. In my case, for example, I have the VPS Avenger right here. And with this particular preset that I selected to get some inspiration, the following happens as I'm holding down a note. And it turns out that this is actually a pretty awesome complementary groove to what I already have going on. So I basically just added one note here in the piano roll. And if I just play that together with what I have here in my arrangement, this is a near perfect fit. Now, of course, I don't want to have like a big, long MIDI note in my arrangement because that's not really flexible. If I want to change a couple of these notes around, maybe I want to octave some of these up or down. None of that I can do with the current state of just one long note in the piano roll. So how can I get the individual notes that the arpeggiator is playing here onto the timeline to edit that? Well, it's actually surprisingly easy. So what you want to do is you want to right click the instrument in question and you want to duplicate the track. This is essentially creating a second instrument track that's assigned to the same instrument. And usually I like to use this for fills, for example, to keep things nice and tidy. But in this particular case, I'm going to use that to record the arpeggiator notes from that instrument in a clean format. How do I do this? Well, the second instrument track, which is basically just a duplicate of that same instrument, called Avenger, it's actually possible to set that as the MIDI input also. And that's actually the case for most modern synthesizers. Most modern VSTs can just be set as the MIDI input as well. So you can select them there. And once you have that set, all you need to do is record arm this track. A record arm is actually enough. You don't need monitor arm in this case. So just unclick the speaker icon. And now all you have to do is hit record on the timeline. And from that point forward, I can basically remove the original notes. I can also remove that duplicated track entirely, turn off the arpeggiator and work with that instrument just like I normally would. So if you're working with certain VST synthesizers that support MIDI input, that's actually a cool way to do it. But what if your synthesizer doesn't support it? Well, in that case, or in any other case, I would definitely recommend you to use note effects inside of Studio One. I have my own tutorial covering these, but with these, it's actually super easy to record everything that you're hearing directly as MIDI notes on the timeline for later editing. So in this example here, I have the Mai Tai loaded and it could be literally any other synthesizer. It would not matter one bit. And I have the arpeggiator and the quarter inserted as note effects. If you want to do that, you just go to the instrument section of Studio One's browser and there you're going to find the folder note effects. And then you can just simply drag and drop to the track to add arpeggiator, quarter, input filter or repeater to any of your instruments. And recording the result is actually super easy as you're going to see. So in my case, I have the arpeggiator, which sounds like this. It has like a nice little pattern that I programmed here. And I also have the quarter, which will basically turn single notes that I'm playing into duophonic note progressions. So let's say I want to record that onto the timeline for more precise editing. All I need to do is toggle these fader icons here to switch to input mode. And then I just hit once again, record on the timeline. And the result is being immediately output on the timeline. I could, of course, also use the previous trick, duplicating the track and then recording existing MIDI material onto that one, but with the arpeggiator and the quarter printed in. So hopefully these tips are going to be helpful if you're working with arpeggiators and quarters on your electronic music productions. And thank you for watching.